Hi guys. What's up guys, we are back in the final part of Medieval. It's time to take on the Lord Sarok. Yep, and finish this game once and for all. And this isn't really exactly a stage per se, it's more like you enter this place and then it's just like three boss battles in a row, so... It's more about trying to take down the boss battles. Now you want to make sure you collect as many life potions as you can, because... Which, which we did off screen. We are, there's 7 out of 10, so I think we should be alright with 7 out of 10. We never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarak awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue. I'm gonna need it. So I assume if you didn't get all the chalices, he would have said something different. Well, it would have been more, it's more difficult, I think, if you do it the other way around. Okay, how much how's my ammo? Yeah, I think I'll be fine about the spears. I'll just have to be careful. I think I should be alright. See how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully it will go well. Yeah, I've got the dragon's breath, so we'll be alright. It's like he put his back there, like he strained his back at a certain point. Yeah, that's the healing lightning you've got to use. It's unlimited, so you don't have to worry about running out. The only downside is that when you use it... It, it drains your own health. Yeah. I think there's a way you can avoid that, but I'm not really sure. I think that's how it's meant to be done. Anyway, let's go. Sir Fortescue, my old nemesis, so we meet again. I see that a century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. Prepare to attack, my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. Ah! What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup? Idea is to heal them. Like I said, it's gonna drain your own health. So make sure you have loads of uh, life potions before you came in. Yeah, this is gonna require concentration. So if you like, even lose one of them, the mission just ends. No, you can still do it, but it won't be as easy. Just keep doing it until it ends. Good news is though, they'll give you tons of health, health pickups afterwards. It's actually not that bad. Just make sure you keep an eye on them. Yeah, keep an eye on all of them. I stand at a certain angle so you can see all of them. down so we need air. Then when more of them start attacking it becomes easier. So now it's going to get easier. Like I said you need to make sure you have plenty of life bottles on you. Is it possible to get more of them? Yeah you've got to try and search secret areas to find more of them. Like I said there's about 10 of them in the game. And we only have like 7. There you go all done. First section is over. The 
That's what I mean, they'll give you loads of those. So your health will go back up. Ah, okay. So you've managed to keep them all alive, they'll just give you all the health back. Brilliant. Yep. Like I said, it's a bit time consuming though. You have to be a bit but it's, de it's definitely worth it. Yeah, you have to wait a bit though. I'll probably try to pick them all up in time. You always were fortunate in battle, Fortescue. Let us see how you fare against my champion, the late Lord Cardock. He eats people like you as calcium supplement. I think they're still there after you pick them up. I swear to God, if they disappear, I'll be angry. Well, you can pick them up. You can run around, but I can't see myself running around. That's the thing. There we go. Back to full string. So every time he moves up, that's when you attack him. You use the fire out though, because using the fire can actually start draining his health again. So it does happen. Oh, and when he does that, you want to back away. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's him down. Now it's the final battle. Bugger. Right then, that's it. I've just about had enough of your meddling. Where is that spell? Ah, yes. No, not that spell. Oh, not right now. Aha! Now I have it. None shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <coughs> so prepare to die, Fortescue. That's what you think, buddy. <laughs> he says as he gets hit. Yeah, I need concentration here. Okay. So how do I get him to stop? So keep running until he does that. I'll try and make sure he's close. That way he'll stop in position. You got your magic arrows, remember that. Yeah. I know. Oh crap! Yeah, now you just want to, now with that attack, you want to keep you want to make sure you keep dashing away from it until he stops. Yeah. 
Yeah, I always make sure the camera's right behind him. That way you'll be able to know when he's going to stop and do that um, when he stands up. Shit. I'm getting there. Run, 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 Dan. Run, Zara look, Zarok looks really ugly. <laughs> what do you think? Well, he's meant to be. Yeah, he looks even more ugly than what he did, and he looked ugly when he was human, or whatever he was. Well, yeah, because he's an evil wizard. Yeah, evil bastard. Such a cool. Oh, you see, how, you can see how much health you can lose that way. Right? Yeah, if you're not careful. I'm trying to get him to stop. I like the music they use for the fun battle. It's pretty cool. Can stop. Okay, one more to do it. Finish him off with lightning. I got one percent. One percent. What would that do? Oh, so uh, I was gonna say that wouldn't do much anyway. That wouldn't have killed him. Right, let's go. Oh, I figured lightning would have been funny to kill him off. With. I was gonna say that wouldn't do much actually. I honestly thought he would kill him off, with, like with the Sith Emperor and all that. Yep. If only so I could scream unlimited power. Okay, and we defeated Zerok. Ah, uh, curse you, Sir Knight. I am finally defeated. Yet if I am to fail, then all shall perish. You are doomed, Fortescue. You will never leave this domain. <laughs> Hoisted by his own petard. Wow, Dan Fortescue is so tough, rocks can't even hit him. I just saw a couple of rocks fall on his head and he didn't take any damage.
That was one badass ending. Yep. And that's medieval. So, what do you think about this game's final thoughts? Very good game in my opinion. I have to say, I remember playing this game when I was really young and I had a good time of it. This was one of the few games me and my father would play together. Uh, it has a very good atmosphere, it had very good graphics for its time, very solid gameplay, despite the camera can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. Puzzles are good, combat's good, the weapon variety is good, uh, the levels are interesting and atmospheric, it has a very good soundtrack. And yeah, I would recommend this game to any person who has a PlayStation 1 who's looking for a good action-adventure title. There are some sections in the game that are a little bit frustrating, I feel, and some levels could be better, but for the most part, it's a fun action game I would recommend playing. And like I said, it does have a good a good length, but like I said, the reason I was able to blaze through this game is because I've played it before, but it's got a good length if you were playing it for the first time. Though some levels do kind of require you to backtrack a couple of times as well to previous levels. But overall, I'd say it's a solid game. And, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. That's all I have to say, in my opinion. So, yeah, if I had to give it, like, a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. So, that's my final thoughts. And for my final thoughts, I would say, yeah, it's definitely worth a recommendation. Pretty much what uh, Luce here said already, so I won't repeat it again. Yeah, solid boss battles as well. I like the boss battles in the game. I mean, especially the ones with the pumpkin. Some of the boss battles are quite unique. I mean, some of them are very different, like the one with the cannons and the stuff with the. Um... I like the final boss in particular, the one with Zerok. I mean, like you could rip like half your health away if you're not careful and you don't know how to dash and stuff. As we demonstrated. Yes, and um, granted, I did mess up a couple of times in certain parts where I forgot to do stuff because I didn't know about it. Yeah, and... like the uh, swamp lakes. The lake one, for example. Yeah, exactly. Um, I didn't know about the eyes and stuff, but then again, that was my bad because I wasn't using common sense because I'm not exactly like the smartest person in the world. But like I said, once you know what to do, it becomes easier for you to play. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I do recommend it. It's, I think it's a fun game. I, mean, I really enjoyed myself. The sequel, not so much. Actually, I know there are a couple of people... I don't know. Maybe there are people out there who do like the second one. I wasn't a fan of the second one for me, but... It's not a terrible game, but I do think the original has a better value. It's more memorable as an experience. I find it more charming. Something about the original stands out more to me, but... <laughs> I love that message at the end. Yeah, but overall, it's a very fun game, and I enjoyed it. So, yeah, I thumbs up for me. And if you're, like, a fan of the second one, hey, more power to you. Yeah, well, I, like I said, there are people who do like the second one, but I prefer the first one. Anyway, that's our Let's Play of Medieval. I had a good time. And I had a pretty good time as well, just watching him kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. Yeah, but I don't like gum. Nor do I chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get what I mean. I used to eat gum when I was younger, but then I was always afraid of choking myself. That's probably why I have a big of a fear of gum. And I don't normally like eating it. <laughs> yeah. And there's an awesome statue of um, Dan's water key. And we're right back at this title sequence again. Yep. So, we hope you enjoyed our playthrough, guys, and we'll see you next time in another playthrough out there. Yep. Until then, sign out.